What's up, y'all? Out here in the woods, having some breakfast. Got lots of passion fruit, Jamaican passion fruit. And I just had a couple oranges also. <clears throat> yep, so uh, just thought I'd film my breakfast and then maybe film the rest of the day. I don't know if there's going to be too much excitement today. Kind of just feel like relaxing and uh, yeah, being out here, it's really nice. I don't have any phone service or anything out here, so I'm probably going to walk out to the road and uh, check some stuff and then see what I'm up to for the rest of the day. As old as possible yeah. before they yeah. They do get more flavor, I noticed. It's like six bananas. Some other eggs at that cool? store. Mm -hmm. I don't really need any you don't need avocados, avocados, but I don't Are you mind. sure you want I'm, one? They're really good. Three things this that is really... Like the, my favorite avocado. I only got a few ducks, yeah, but I was talking to Val, she's got a huge flock of muscovy, but they're only seasonal on their egg laying. Their arms are all floppy. Home sweet home. Alright, back at the tent, getting ready for bed. I just went to uh, a little crop swap thing that happens every week on the road that I am staying on. And uh, yeah, I took a little bit of fruit, some lilikoi or passion fruit and Jamaican lilikoi. And I had a couple avocados that uh, I was able to um, gather today. And uh, I think that might have been it. And I totally got tons of epic fruit. I'm going to show you what I got here. Alright, here it is. I traded all my lilikoi and Jamaican lilikoi and all that, uh, which I have an abundance of anyways, and I totally just forage all the time for all this amazing stuff. I got a uh, tiny little relinia, which is so delicious. I got tons of mangosteen. Um, these are Indonesian guava which were pretty good. Um, got a little star fruit, uh, rambutans, and some bananas. So I'm super happy that I went. I also got to meet, to meet a bunch of people that live on this road and that are doing permaculture stuff. And I got to meet a woman named Anne, who is, actually I live right next to her. Her, <laughs> her place is like connected to the forest that I am staying in. And she's got a little tree house um, that I'm gonna be able to stay in and then I'm going to uh, just provide like 30 minutes of work trade per day just to stay in this little tree house that she has uh, and then she's also I'm also gonna be working for durian <laughs> she's got lots of durian apparently I haven't seen it yet I'm gonna go over there tomorrow and um, yeah uh, hopefully work for lots of durian and other exotic fruit and I'm sure I'll probably get to try some of the fruit that she's got at her place and uh, I'll try and get some video and show you what there is. So uh, it's been a super like relaxing, chillaxed day. Um, pretty much the whole day I just was sitting around reading, meditating, uh, bathing in the sun, and eating lilikoi. And I had a lot of avocado today. That was not good. <laughs> and there was so much at the uh, that get together, the the uh, produce swap or whatever, the crop swap. Um, it's like now I know to keep the avocados that I see all over the ground because they're super abundant here and everybody loves them. It's like breadfruit and avocado are like the big staples here for everyone, and they're the things that I try not to eat. Um, and so now I know that they're like super good bartering <laughs> uh, fruits for these crop swaps for the more exotic stuff like the mangosteens and the relinia and there was a durian there that Ann brought um, that we didn't get to open but <laughs> oh well. So uh, yeah, I think that's about it. About to head to bed and I'll talk with you all soon. Thanks for watching.